Good day, everyone. My name is Okwaifa Olasukomi, your English teacher. And today we want to look at some tips that can help us to prepare for JAM UTME use of English language. Of course, English language is that compulsory subject you must write as a UTME candidate. So let's look at some things that you need to know now and things you need to do while you're writing the examination. I'm going to share some seven tips, suggestions as you may call it, and surely if you adhere to them, you are going to share your success story with me at the end of your examination. So go along with me. What is the first thing that you need to do? Number one, know that you will answer 60 questions on that day. You need to know this and um, make sure that you keep it at the back of your mind. You might have been practicing with a lot of booklets where you have 100 questions, some 60, and you are wondering, which one will I write? How many questions will I write that day? Please, for now, JAM is taking just 60 questions for use of English language. And don't confuse it with other subjects. So after knowing that, what else do you do? A lot of time to each of these subjects. Now you are going to write four subjects, you know that. So you need to allot time. How many minutes will I spend with use of English? How many minutes will I spend with my chemistry? How many minutes will I spend with accounting or with my literature? So you need to allot time to each subject. Of course, what you are going to allot to literature wouldn't be the same thing you are going to allot to economics because economics has calculation. So how do you do it? Practice now. Pick your booklet. Set a question for yourself, set the exam for yourself rather, and spend just two hours. You are going to spend two hours that day. For literature students or art students generally, I can advise them to do 30 minutes with each subject. 30 with use of English, 30 with um, literature, 30 with the CRK, 30 with IRK, 30 with any other subject that doesn't have calculation. But this may not go well with chemistry, physics, and biology. Just on your own, based on your strength and your ability. Know what to do and then practice that. Okay. And number three. Know the aspect that will be tested in use of English. Of course, English is not, I mean, UTME is not like WACSI or SSC exam, SSC rather. You are, going to, you are not going to write summary. You are not going to be tested with intonation. So you need to know those areas of English language that will be tested. One, know there's comprehension. Know you are going to be working with nearly opposite in meaning, um, nearest in meaning, some aspect of test of orals, um, then some aspects of grammar too, talk of pronoun, talk of tenses and concord, those areas will surely come out. So you need to get to know all these and be expecting them. So the fourth point, which is very specific now, is for your comprehension. I will advise you that for your comprehension, you read the questions first to save time. It's like knowing the objective, knowing the mind of the examiner. You read the questions first. So when you are reading the passage, you know exactly what you are looking for. Then you will save time and you won't waste time doing this. The fifth point there is do not waste your time on any question you do not know. As soon as you start, know that your time has started too. So do not waste time on any question you do not know. If you don't know it, move on to the next one. Of course, once you tick any one and you pick your answer, the color of that question, the number will change to any color as deemed fit by the programmer. So you move on. By the time you come back, you see that the one in white has not been answered, while the one colored in green, purple, or so has a different color. Then, with this, don't be in a hurry. Take this next point. Do not leave any question unanswered no matter what. Even though you are leaving it for a later time, make sure you answer all questions, whether you know it or not. You have 50, we have 25% chance of getting the answer because you have option A to D. You can even use knockout, remove the most foolish ones and have like two left, which is 50-50. Make sure you answer all questions. I know some of you must have heard that JAM will mark you using negative marking. I don't think there's anything like that. If that is the case, I think we should have minus 60 by now, minus 70 or some negative scores also. No. Please, I don't believe in that. Make sure you answer all questions. The examiner actually wants to test your analytical skills, whether even where you are in a confused state, where you are not sure of your position, you can make a decision. Your ability to make good decision is one of the things the examiners want to test indirectly. And the last point here, which is the seventh one, do not click the submit button 
until you finish all the subjects. You know, English of English is likely to be the first subject. You are not supposed to answer use of English and then submit use of English before you move on to the next. Please, it means you have ended the examination. The highest you can score in English language is 100. Of course, I don't think you can score 100 over 100. So what are you supposed to do? As soon as you are done with English language, click the next subject. Click your physics, click your literature, click your accounting, click your economics, move on. You do not click that submit button until you are now done with the entire exam. And close to it, you can, which I can call 7.1, is make sure you submit yourself. Do not assume that the computer will submit for you. As soon as it remains like one minute to the end of your exam, please stop whatever you are doing and click submit button with your own hand. Don't assume that the computer will submit for you. If it's programmed the other way, it may boomerang and then that may be a negative story at the end of the day. I believe with these seven tips which I'm going to go over again now, you are going to have a very good success. One, know that you are supposed to answer 60 questions. Two, allot time to each subject. Three, know the aspect to be tested. Four, for your comprehension, read the questions to save time. Five, do not waste time on any question you do not know. Six, do not leave any question unanswered. And the last one, please do not click the submit button until you finish all the subject. I wish you best of luck and I'm expecting an invitation for your matriculation. Thank you very much.